The dreaded monoclonal antibodies, please don't worry about this. I'll take you through this topic step by step. We need to first of all understand what various definitions mean. So first of all, what is a clone? It's a genetically identical cell or individual. So what are monoclonal antibodies? Well, antibodies remember a type of protein. The antibody binds to the antigen. The key thing about monoclonal antibodies is that they're produced from a single clone of cells, meaning that all the antibodies made are genetically identical. They're all clones of each other. So with monoclonal antibodies, we're really trying to think of a way that we can produce large numbers of antibodies. That's the real purpose of monoclonal antibodies. And we know that antibodies are produced by lymphocytes, but the problem with lymphocytes is that they reproduce incredibly slowly. So what scientists thought about next was, well, how do we get them to produce large numbers of antibodies? What type of cell replicates really quickly? And they thought, hang on, a cancer cell, a tumor cell. So what happens if we combine a tumor cell with a lymphocyte? Maybe we'll be able to generate large numbers of genetically identical antibodies. And that's exactly what they did. They combined a tumor cell with a lymphocyte to produce a hybridoma. Remember, hybrid is a little bit of one thing and another, such as the Toyota Prius. Remember, that's a hybrid using both petrol and electricity in order to power itself. So to go into the nitty gritty as to how monoclonal antibodies are made, we first of all need to get a mouse. The mouse is injected with a specific antigen and before long the lymphocytes of the mouse start producing antibodies specific to the antigen which has been injected. It's actually the mouse spleen cells which are used to produce those antibodies. The spleen cells are fused with tumour cells to produce a hybridoma and it's the hybridoma cells which are responsible for making large numbers of monoclonal antibodies. So what are the uses of monoclonal antibodies? Why have we gone to all this effort to combine lymphocytes and tumour cells? Well, they can be used in diagnosis, such as in pregnancy tests. Pregnancy tests contain monoclonal antibodies. The monoclonal antibody binds to the HCG hormone present in a pregnant woman's urine. And by binding to a dye, you see this as a positive test result in a pregnancy test window. Monoclonal antibodies may also be used for testing in laboratories to detect the presence of a particular pathogen, hormone levels or chemicals within the blood. Monoclonal antibodies can even be used to treat cancer. The antibodies can be attached to radioactive substances which can be used to kill cancer cells. Going a little more into detail as to how monoclonal antibodies can be used to identify pathogens, one end of the antibody is attached to a fluorescent dye or marker, the other end attaches to the specific antigens on a pathogen. The moment that that binding occurs, the fluorescent dye shows up and you can view the pathogen under a microscope.